Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Okay, announcement. I am going to start teaching one-on-one -on -one self-defense. And uh, what I'm talking about on one-on-one -on -one self-defense when you are uh, being attacked by one one person. Um, if you've noticed, uh, and I'm sure you have, a lot of the stuff that I talk about seems a little extreme. <laughs> and, uh, and that's because uh, I am mainly uh, targeted by multiple attackers. And, uh, and so my method of self-defense may seem a little extreme to some. And that's why. Uh, because I'm outnumbered and normally I'm outgunned. And uh, uh, the the odds of survival are slim. And when you get in a situation like that, you tend to lean towards extreme measures. That's why. Uh, but, like I say, uh, it all, all of what, it's all started <laughs> by using one-on-one -on -one tactics. And, uh, because I've been to the extreme, um, I say at 18 years old, I was using extreme measures, and I'm not proud of what I did, and what I did was immoral, it was hard to live with myself, so I told myself I will never teach anyone how to fight, but now I'm to the situation where I've had many, many requests and uh, uh, and it's of all ages. And I've thought about it and thought about it. And it could I can do this in uh, a non-lethal uh, self-defense manner. In other words, the the moves and tactics I teach can only be used for defending yourself. They don't work well when attacking. It's not uh, they're not uh, attacking moves. And I've mentioned. It's easier to defend than it is to attack. Uh, you just have to know and understand the rules. And once you understand it, then you'll see you've got the advantage. That's why it takes numbers to uh, overcome. Uh, you have to have more numbers if you want to overcome a small amount. Uh, because uh, defending is much easier. So, And that's what I'm going to be teaching is... Uh, defensive moves. Uh, now I'm doing this in person and uh, I also have videos. Uh, I'm making videos on it also. Uh, it's going to be in both uh, using hands, uh, hands against hands, uh, hands against uh, handheld weapons, handheld weapons like knives, uh, machetes, clubs, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and the reason is, the reason I'm, I do well, the reason I do well, the reason I can travel all these places, uh, the reason I can uh, get, find myself in all kinds of weird situations, uh, I have a plan 
and all my plans are based on defending myself. And once you can defend yourself, it opens doors to lots of places. You can go to a lot of places. And so, I mean, I can defend myself physically, but also uh, emotionally and, and, and mentally and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and, but it, it takes the basics. And the basics is using your hands uh, and hand hand to hand, and um, uh, you know hand to different weapons uh, when people uh, try to bully you or intimidate you using weapons. And that's what I'm saying. For me, when people pull a weapon on me, and then I just check myself, did I bring a weapon? You know, and if I didn't, well, I look at their weapon and I think, oh, well, good, I'll take theirs. So it's not like the weapon is even though in their minds they think the weapon is useful to them and it's not uh, their weapon is going to get them hurt because if they're using your hands on me I will allow certain things to happen if you pull a weapon on me hey my life is in danger so I, I look at things a whole lot different and uh, that's what I'm going to be uh, uh, showing when when I get to be with people and also it'll be on the videos that I'm going to be making and uh, these videos are only going to be able you'll be able to download or purchase them uh, from me or someone that knows me or knows of me who's already bought it and then they're going to download it for you uh, but I'm, I'm putting it on I'm using memory sticks now to uh, uh, put the information on because it can I can put more on there and uh, it's easier to I say share it with others and uh, I say the uh, well I'll be also uh, I say I'll be showing it hands I'll also be showing the knives how to use a knife uh, uh, how to defend yourself from the knife how to use the knife uh, machete tomahawk um, most any most anything uh, it's there's certain things that you do and I talk about I do my uh, uh, Tai Chi uh, and I'm that's what I'm matter of fact I'm on my way now to do some more I'll do it you know at least once a day maybe two or three times a day I do my Tai Chi and it only takes just a few minutes it's not uh, stressful you don't need to be all bulked up you don't need to do anything uh, uh, men, women, children, I don't care what kind of health issues you have, uh, I don't even care if you're in a wheelchair, I don't, I don't even care if you're bedridden, you can do Tai Chi. And uh, what I do in Tai Chi, and I'm going to be demonstrating that also, uh, I do Tai Chi not as a sport. I have people ask me, well, what kind of martial arts do you use? And when, when you put a name on it, it's a sport. Uh, tai Chi is it's a method of uh, controlling Chi, not really a sport. And uh, most of the time they use it for exercise, but it also is known as the most deadliest martial art. But it's not necessarily a martial art like you would think. And uh, it is a, a good way to exercise the body. And you can do it with or without weapons. And um, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know uh, you're going to be you can expect to see it when you see me. You're going to be ready to expect to see some self-defense moves. This is Mike, no stress Mike. Dot com.